Hi, my name is Nick and this video is about my journey in game development. So in 2015 I found uh, Unity and decided to make a remake of a game uh, I loved from Sega, which is Zero Tolerance. So it was not entirely Zero Tolerance uh, remake or something, but mostly just inspired by this game and uh, I plan to make something like horror game as Dead Space for example. I started to learn Unity and at the moment was doing some 3D in Maya as well. So I planned the project and started with the plan of the level and began to work on it in Maya. Then I decided to change the plan and to build the game mechanics first. Also for some reason I decided to make the mobile game first. So I made the controller, shooting and switching weapon and basic enemy. Then I figured that it is too complex for my knowledge so I stopped doing it and switched to 3D model and sculpting for some time. Here is some work I done in 3D during this time. Then after some time I started to working on my business and switched to web programming for a couple of years, so I abandoned game development at this time. Five years later I discovered uh, GDevelop on winter vacation and uh, decided to use this time to build simple platformer game. I made a game about my cat and uh, I drawn the sprites myself, it was pretty fun to do. The game is uh, published on each, so uh, you can play it, I will leave uh, a link in comments. I made a couple of GDevelop tutorials uh, which are still uh, having views and uh, on this channel. Then I started to work on another game about the Avocado uh, with the mechanics of Rescue Rangers, but managed to do only the main character sprite and create throwing mechanic. Then lack of free time came and I stopped doing games again. I had thoughts about game dev uh, all the time, but had no time to learn at all. Learning curve felt impossible, especially with Unity and C Sharp. Then came ChatGPT and made it much easier to learn. I started to work with it as with uh, like developer consultant who can answer my questions and using it for my day-to-day -day work as well. I learned Python using this approach, so at some point I decided uh, that I can use this approach uh, with games as well, so uh, this idea about zero, to zero tolerance uh, popped up again. So I tried Unity, did not like it, switched to Godot, liked it a lot, but figured it's still too hard for me to uh, make 3D FPS games, so decided to do something easier. This is how I started uh, to work on my Wasteland RPG, which is now in progress, and you can check the results uh, in my videos. I decided to just start simple and expand on the go, so I made player controller, added some generated assets from Midjourney, made uh, NPC dialogues, inventory and stat system. And currently I'm thinking to switch to 3D cause it feels easier to make retro 3D graphics than uh, making lots of uh, handmade animations for a 2D game. Now I'm making my first character in Blender and uh, exploring tools for animations and rigging. So this is my progress uh, with the game development so far and uh, I hope that I will finish this game and uh, you will be able to play it. Thank you for watching.